Hello guys, we're Dave and Sue, and we're the proud owners of a motorhome, a Bailey Adamo 754T. We've had the motorhome now since October 23, so about nine months. We now have a fairly good idea of what we're doing, but we learn on every single trip of what not to do and what to do. So this video sees us setting up on a campsite and what we do to get Flory ready for us to occupy. I must say, this is what we do, and hopefully it gives you a few tips on how to set up. But we're definitely no experts, so if you've got any tips for us, please leave them in the comments below. It'd be very welcome. Plus, if you're interested in a Bailey Adamo, I'll leave some links up to videos we've done. One was a full tour when we first picked up the van, and the second one was a six-month review of what we'd learned and tips and tricks. Hope you enjoy this one, guys. Hello, right, guys. So I'm going to film how we set up our Adamo. We are on Moss Lane Park, or Moss Lane Farm. A little horse over there. We've got a neighbour here, and that's the farm. We haven't checked out the facilities yet, but I just want to show you how we set up. So the first thing we do and I'll show this you this that's it we've got our instructions we've got a little set of instructions which we always use but the first thing we do is just to double check we're level we've never used we've only used leveling ramps once in our six months but let's just check check the level yeah so the first thing I do I've got an app let's just look at the app here's the bubble level uh, we are well, you can see we're pretty much level change it around that way we're almost perfectly level so that's that brilliant right so my first job is setting the electric up which is going to be really easy today i've just got to move this away a bit and just my electric cable and first thing you do is you plug it into your van you do not walk about with live electric wire so you plug it in the van first Shut the door a minute. Okay, so plugging that in, and then I'll unravel this because you need to unravel the entire. You need to unravel all the electric lead because it can overheat if you leave it in a coil. So I'll do that right the way around. There, that's it. I'll uncoil it. I'll just. Uh, Leave you a second. So that's plugged in. Looks like you turn this one a half turn and that presumably turns it on. Let's go and check with Sue. I'll unravel this cord in a little while. And then what I do is I'll go in here and I will check that the I do whoa Hi. that door. I'll check that when I push the master on. Now it's it's look. You can see on the master switch that the little hookups on now. Hook up is on. So first thing again, we do the fridge to electric. electric so. Yeah. You can see it flashing because it was on 12 volt. We've travelled up from Bedfordshire with it on 12 volt. Want to put it on to electric? So wrong. I press this button in, hold it, and then go bump. That's gas. I don't want gas. That's auto. I could leave it on auto, which means it'll it'll come to the, go to the best one, but. We put it on electric yeah. and press it in. That's the temperature. So we put it on four, four out of five. And now that is on electric. So our electric hookups on, whoops, and our fridge is on. So now, now we're looking at our little list, arrival at site. Now I will probably turn, take the vent covers off the fridge um, because it's not that cold. Well, I don't know what temperature is it getting down to tonight? Cause we might need 
so the temperature is getting down to not exactly Birmingham is it uh, it's getting down to six tonight mm, I can probably take them off so I need to take them off but let's so do, do that now while you're thinking yeah of. okay so the next job I do is to get the fridge vent covers off which you don't you don't really need in the summer but we do use them for traveling so I'm, I'll show you how I do that uh, the first thing you do is quite difficult like this but you click that out click that out pull the cover off like that put that down there like that and then these are my homemade one of them nearly broken hey yeah how you doing okay so you homemade fridge vents done in there now it's water so i'm going to close this garage up and i shall fill up with water oh, it's getting quite a cold wind but it's beautiful Hose, hose connector. I've got to see if this works let's hope it will just connect on okay so it's one of those that will bang out so various hose connectors that i use i've got a load of them one hasn't got a washer on it so when you try and get that out of the tap it doesn't work because there's obviously no washer but electric cable away Go and check with Sue, see if the water's coming in. Okay, I'm filling up in theory, Sue. Sorry? I'm filling up water, so okay, shall I? Do you want to just check yeah. what Sue does? Because we haven't got any fancy uh, equipment no. or whatever. We just we literally. We almost don't need to do this, do we? But we just do it as a precaution, um, precaution. yeah. So what Sue does is we take the, uh, it's a bit different on other Adamo models I think, but on the 75-4T our uh, water tank is down here. And it is, I can see that it's filling. filling up. So but we can I, also check What I do, there. you see it, is just go on to here, this is, uh, let's have a look, fill tank, and I can put the pump on, fill in tank. So. Yeah. Is it filling? so we're filling out the water we probably because we're only, only overnight out, we? we're doing about a 50 percent i think there aren't we, are showers here so if we have a shower in the morning we'll probably use site ones yeah probably don't need to use um our own shower our own shower so in terms of our list we've done the fridge covers we've done the gas sorry we've done the electric we're not going to put gas on tonight no point we'll just mean, use the heating for the sorry we'll use the heating for the electric we've leveled up we, we know we're level we don't use leveling blocks unless we really have to hookups all sorted so the water now is coming in the next thing we do is we'll turn on the um truma boil truma pump but it's probably best we always like to make sure we've got quite a bit of water in the tank because we want to fill up the um water heater or boiler before we turn everything on so let's just see what's happening well for some reason it's still saying 0% on here see mm, sometimes it does it takes a while to register so I turned the pump on just covering the bottom at the moment so I turn the pump on because that's it t tends to be what you're supposed to do although it doesn't see when you're filling it with um direct from a tap and not drawing it in from a uh, aqua roll it fills up anyway you don't seem to have to worry about um putting your pump on to pump it pump it in so uh we'll carry some water with us tomorrow won't yeah we? tomorrow as we go up to, to scotland we'll definitely carry a bit of water with us so so far um what i've done 
is that we traveled with the fridge on 12 volt yeah. which doesn't when you're starting all well, it does that, is that on yeah that's on hook up now oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, double check it. so <laughs> that doesn't do much for us when unless you like when we travel tomorrow if we put it onto 12 volt it will maintain the temperature that we start from yeah i.e so I, I, cold cold yeah. so any chilled food should stay chilled yeah until we get to the next site yeah today i've had to be very careful like i've got long life milk but i have got stuff in there yeah and then you've done the hooks um i'm hanging some towels up because very often we don't use our own shower do we no, so um, not if we've got facilities it's quite good so yeah so i i lock i carry quite a bit into the in the laundry bag but we're yeah. obviously going to be using that now so i've emptied that got yeah. lots of towels with us this time in case we have trouble washing them yeah, yeah. okay yeah. so now i'm going to go and put the uh front screen on oh, what about the purifying tablets yeah we'll do that in a minute What's what it, it might, it's still saying 0% on there. I put them in Look, it's still saying 0%. So I know, but I usually put them Yeah, but up. it's still saying 0%. So what's actually happening? Is it any put anything filling? Yeah, it's filling. It's filling. So this is the problem you get on on some yeah. of these um Adamos with the actual uh sensor is absolutely pretty hopeless. We've recalibrated or our dealer recalibrated this for us and actually the last time we were out in Suffolk it was fine. It actually worked quite well. Mm. This may be because we're actually a little bit less level than we were last time possibly. so it's possibly not showing that we're filling up what would happen if you go back to the master and go back to the field tank would it show any difference no Try that. well it might do i suppose but i'm going to put some water purifying tablets in while it's spilling water level zero percent okay next thing i'm going to do is put the because what happens with, with these adamos you do get a problem and some of the guys on the Facebook page have got some great videos and explanations for this. But when you get condensation inside the van, the water, the condensation from the windscreen runs down behind the dashboard and can affect the electrical control unit, which is below the dashboard and some people have had flashing lights and the whole thing has been a disaster for a couple of months until Ford get it sorted out so what we do we always make sure we put on our front screens which is what I'm going to do now So, big mistake, started filling up the water tank without closing the boiler tap, which is in the garage. So yeah, rookie mistake. Rookie mistake, this in here is the 7540s boiler. And you can see here, that, point to it, that yellow tap has to be down like that if it's up then it's open and you're draining the boiler so if you're trying to fill up with that up the water is just going to come straight out of the boiler okay it looks about 30 okay. percent at least it at least it's recognizing it's, which is um, why we keep that open so we can gauge yeah. it uh, because it's never accurate it's never completely it gets accurate. it gets accurate about 80 percent and then it yeah. flies up to 100 percent in no time that's why you have to watch it yeah so at least it's fully you could end up with a flood if you weren't careful yeah do you want to just feel oh that? yeah so right. Right. right okay so what i we've got the this is a sofa cover that we've mentioned in a previous video for covering the front what do you call that dashboard basically yeah and so that in colder weather that just keeps you warmer in the evening it makes a huge difference it does it does but we're mate, going mate to... of ours jp lamry recommended it and mm. it works a treat doesn't it yeah yeah but we're getting it's towards the end of april now yeah and really fingers crossed we're not going to need to do that for a few for the next few months yeah, yeah. <laughs> you never know with the uk weather no and now i'm going to twist this seat, seat. oh round. yeah we'll push the seat around. prefer you didn't feel me in case i get stuck okay yeah so okay so that's how we tend to 
spin the. We've got to put the table up as well. Oh yeah, put the table. Um, should we bother? We well, I will spin that round because it's quite an interesting way of doing it to okay. be able to spin it round. Usually, if we're on a site for more than one night, we do spin both chairs That's so right. that we've got like a area to sit. Yeah. And when we leave our storage, we leave the van at storage. We always leave the taps open. Um, just to let any water out, so um, it's recommended. It's, yeah, to do so that. it doesn't freeze. Yes, yeah, so it doesn't in freeze. the pipes. So now I'm going to close those because we have been caught out before. We've forgotten to do that. Yeah. Put the water on, and water gushes out. So all the taps closed. And the kitchen tap. And the kitchen closed. Yeah. So in a few minutes, when we've got the water, and we've got enough water. What we'll do is we'll tr we'll turn the boiler on and the heating on. And we'll we'll then run we'll wait the, a while. Then we'll run the hot tap that's it. to check that it's. Well, we'll just run. What you have to do is you have to um, sort of bleed the system the first time you're out in it. Yeah. So there's, there'll be air locks in the system. Yeah. So when we put when we put the uh, water pump on, and we put the taps on, it won't run water for a little while. So you run the cold first, then the then the hot. So we'll show you how to it's do that hot in a minute. First. Hot first, then cold. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we'll leave the gas off today. Yeah. We're not, we, we probably won't use gas for, on this overnight stop, so we're not... We're we not might not use, use gas much, if, gonna, unless we're doing a bit of, you know, um, off-grid stuff. Yeah, we will use it. Cooking, sure. we'll use it for cooking at some point. We yeah. don't need it. We're going to find a pub today. So the other thing we were doing is, much yeah. Sue just remind me, is the Wi-Fi. Now, you can't even see it there, you but... You did it while travelling, didn't you? Yeah, you can take that out and I'll show them the... Yeah. Well, this is the yeah. max... Yeah. This is the Max View Wi-Fi, uh, which we obviously everything in there is uh, okay. stored for travelling. Yeah. But yeah, that's our Wi-Fi. It's, we've got actually a Vodafone data sim, which costs about thirty-three quid a month, I think it is. Um, but it's uh, un it's limitless, so we can use it the whole time. So that's already switched on, so we can use the Wi-Fi. But have we got a signal? I don't even I haven't even checked um, the signal yet. Yeah, I've got a signal. Cool. So Sue's on it. Uh, Right, oh, you know, I always forget. You're on three. I'm on Sue's three. on three. You're on Vodafone. Yeah, and I'm on you, Vodafone. You've got a signal as well. And Yours this is not quite as good here. No. But it's and that 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 Wi-Fi is on Vodafone. So, okay. So let's put that back. And now, how are we doing? Water must must be enough water now, mustn't there? No, we need a bit more. Okay. I, I just, it's about. Are you filming me? Yep. It's, <laughs> it's about thirty. 40%. I'd it's say it's 45 on it. Yeah, I'd say it looks about about right 40%, now. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, so here here is the way that we put the return this seat because it's not actually that easy. Um, on the far side down there is the seat backrest. Now, what you have to do is push the seat back by normally underneath here there's a there you go. So that pushes back like that and then what I do is I basically put this as far down as I can as it will go oh you can do it from there or you do it from behind here do you want me to film you no it's all right <laughs> yeah that might be a bit easier you can see that now is as far forward as possible what you do is you can there's another catch under here there's two catches one which moves the seat backwards and forwards and one just underneath in the middle which you pull and rotates the seat so you can see it now well it's rotating but I'm stuck on that bit there so that needs to be pulled forward just a touch that goes forward a bit now it should rotate probably get stuck on the wheel no it's fine so now I'm in we're actually in so all I do is put that seat like that and we have two front back facing seats perfect yeah now let's try the water okay we're just um filled up with water we're going to put the heating on and try the hot taps and there's a vent in this wardrobe under the bed this side this vent here and it's important that when we're traveling this is all covered up but when you you're using the heating don't um, have that covered and also what I do as an extra precaution um, I'll take out anything that's 
that I think could catch on fire, you know, anything yeah, yeah. flammable. Um, yeah. So I've got loo rolls here, which I'll probably move somewhere else later yep. as well, so that they're not over the heating vent. Okay. Okay, okay kitchen roll in place. Um, I'll give this sink a clean before we use That's it. That's a little one you got from Amazon, wasn't it? Off Amazon, actually. It's literally a stick, it's not a screw, it's a stick on it one. It can be screwed on or it can be stuck on. Yeah. You, you were going to put a link onto the last video. Yeah, I didn't video. forgot. I'll try and remember to do it on this one. Yeah. Hi guys, so now we're going to put our table up. It's an electric table and we can show you how we put it up and turn it round. Up, this goes. There it goes. We always travel with it low down, don't we? Yeah, in fact it's quite good travelling it with low down. You're always supposed to do that. But we also put the EcoFlow underneath it. Um, this is the first time we're going to probably have a go at the eco plug. Get the um, not a, today, but on this holiday, we'll get the so enough. solar panels out and we'll get the um, smooth. Oh, yeah, right, yeah, that way, don't we? Yeah, um, you're better at twisting it, so yes, yes. I hold the camera. So, yeah, yeah, we don't normally have it that way, don't we? We, we normally do. But sometimes we could go and take it over here and yeah. then we try and take it that way, like that. Yeah, so you got, but and then of course, you've got. It does actually then go over and you have to pull table. the um, yeah. metal bit out so to do quite, that. Quite we, useful. Yeah, we don't usually need it larger than than it is like that for just the two of us, do That's we? Right. It can be a pain to manoeuvre, <laughs> as you <laughs> yes. can see. But well, from side to side, it's fine. That's it. But it's just to twist it round. Sometimes it just takes a little bit. Of is that too high? No, it's fine. Yeah. So we've got full tank of. Of water near enough we've got the electric on so the next thing i do is put the pump on now you can hear it making a noise can you hear it see yeah what i do is that's now pressing the truma control panel on right it's looking at the heating which i'll press it's off i turn the knob to the clockwise five degrees we normally have it about 16 but probably a bit too hot so 14 press it it's on the water it's the next one i turned it clockwise i'm on the water it's off i'll put it on eco rather you can put it on on high or boost eco oh, i put it actually to, to hot to, to put it up we'll put it on boost so we'll put it on boost to get it warm quickly and then the next one is what method of heating we're using at the moment it's on gas which we haven't got even got on so mix one is gas and electric mix two is gas and electric electric one we'll use so i think it's not actually wasn't on gas it's just the first one on the list isn't it yeah is it was, it was, it yeah it wasn't on gas yeah because yeah. the gas isn't even on yeah so we're now on it on electric water electric heating the, the hot water is on boost however the system needs to be purged because there'll be a lot of air in the system so soon we'll now turn the hot tap on and whoa. there's all the air going out and when it starts to run full free we know that the boiler this is this is basically filling the boiler now it can take a you know a minute or two it won't be hot water coming through here yet because, because it hasn't heated up. it's still heating up yeah. we've only just switched it on well, we're just making sure it's coming through yeah always start always start with this kitchen one we were told when yeah we pit, when that's we it took possession of the van so as you can see it's it, you start getting worried that actually it's not working but and, and this just, will be the only time we have this trouble, won't it? Because from now on, we'll be carrying water yeah. for the next three weeks. That's we'll right. carry a little water yeah. and we'll just top it up at every site That's until right. you don't have to. It's only the first site. Yeah. And, and after it's only the first site after you've, there we go, after you've um, winterized it and otherwise drained the whole lot down. It doesn't take long. So that won't be hot yet. Won't be hot. We'll try the cold. Let, shall it, we? let it go a bit more. Just to be sure. I don't like to. Use gonna waste too water. Much water. No, okay. Let's try the cold then. Put it on full too. Put it on full. It is. Oh, is that full? Yeah. So actually straight away the cold is working brilliantly. So we'll leave that. And we'll do that exactly the same now with the shower and the tap in the bathroom to make sure that everything's working through. So we know now that our water's on, our water's working, 
our electrics on, our heating's on. We have set up for the evening. Uh, the front screens are on. Although I can see one blind, so I need to go out and, and attach it properly again. But yeah, so that's about it, really, isn't it? So? That's more or less it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Like I say, we haven't put the gas on. We, we, we will probably do that when we get into Scotland for a bit of cooking. But today, yeah. today we're going to find we a pub. We will over the next few weeks use the gas for sure. Yeah. Yeah. anyway hopefully you enjoyed that one guys i'll uh yeah ho hopefully you've enjoyed enjoyed that one and that's how we set up the adamo 75 4t when we arrive at a site it might be a bit jerky in places on the video but we've, we've done it quickly it only takes us what doesn't take us 20 long. minutes 25 minutes maximum yeah to set everything up um now we're set up on our first site we're going to be set up for three weeks really because mm. you know apart from the electric water. and bits Switching and pieces when you fridge, travel yeah. we switched to 12 volt on the fridge we said yeah. all that didn't we yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so that's it so mm -hmm. hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you on the next one cheers Bye. well thanks very much for watching guys hope this was of interest to you as i said before if you can see we've made any mistakes or we're not doing something correctly then please let us know in the comments otherwise hopefully that's that was useful and we'll see you on the next one